Mr. Samuel. Uh, before we adjourn for dinner, <laughs> may I be permitted to point out that the proposed emperor has one leg shorter than the other? <laughs> I also draw your attention to the fact that this leg being shorter is probably responsible for the other leg being longer. <laughs> <laughs> Senators, the cause of the Roman Empire could find no better champion than Claudius. I am ready to stand at his side. Are you out of your senses? You freed us from the tyranny of a madman only to deliver us into the hands of a stuttering idiot? We'd become the laughing stock of the whole world if we accept this dummy as emperor. My lords, I respect the constitutional rights of this noble house and would only accept the acclamation of the army if this noble house elects me. Uh, 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 <laughs> My Lord Sentius, I, I did not know you could also stutter. I thought your talents were confined to neighing like a horse. Is there anyone else who wishes to call attention to my misfortunes? Or shall I call attention to yours? Sentius, get up! Not only are you a pompous ass and a hypocrite, but you have acquired your position through bribery. Asiaticus, stand up! Not only are you a profiteer, but since we're dealing in personalities, you're a stuffed and puffed up glutton. You'd sell your soul for the tail end of an anchovy. Silius, get up. You're rarely heard and your name is never mentioned but you control the Senate with gold accumulated by providing worthless grain to the people and faulty supplies to the army. Since no one else seems eager to show his eloquence, I will inform you of the conditions upon which I will accept your support. I... Claudius! tell you how to frame your laws. Profiteering and bribery will stop. The Senate will function only in the name of Roman justice. And all of you who have acquired position dishonestly will be replaced by men who love Rome better than their purses. I will break Everything rotten in the Senate, like an old dry twig. On that basis only will I become your emperor. Now let me hear your objection. 